It takes courage to take up the cross like Jesus. It takes courage to walk after his life. It takes courage. And God, thank you for the heroes and the heroines who walked after you, who took the persecution, who took the lying, who took the stealing, who took all the interrogation that they've been through. My hero was Dr. King. Not because he was the most perfect, but because he took after the cross. He tried his best to do what was right, and he asked for forgiveness for the things that weren't right. And I saw after he was tested on every side, after he was pressured to turn around, after he had to show weakness so that God could show his strength. And that's what we need, heroes and heroines who say, I will take up the cross. I'll take God's will and I'll take God's love and I will walk in his will and I'll walk in his love to be to be role models for our children, to show them the way to, to be, to show them the way to heaven, to show them that they do not have to be sinners. They do not have to a uh, wow in pain. They do not have to be broken. They do not have to be abused. They do not have to be mistreated. But they can be strong towers. They can be vessels of God. They can move in his spirit. They can preach his word. They can walk and talk the word of God. They can live the word of God. They can ask God to make them a leader. They can ask God to use their talents and their smartness. They can make. They can ask God to make them and to mold them to be the great change maker in their life. And they can show that the kingdom of the enemy will not withstand the kingdom of God. They can show that the word is alive and is living and that the word is good enough for me. And even if their life is cut short, they will be remembered because God will remember them. God will keep them. And no matter what people may say, they God will write their names in his in his book of life. He'll write his name, he'll write this he'll write their names on the history book. He'll let it be known that they are his child. He'll let it be known that their life was a life of love. He'll let it be known that they did not die in vain. He'll let it be known that God was with them, that God built them up, and that nobody could tear them down. He'll let their remembrance be that of following him and walking in obedience. And they'll never be alone. They'll never be afraid. They'll rise above every trap of the enemy. And they'll be a living legacy, a living testimony to the word of God. Lord, thank you for those heroes and heroes of the faith. Thank you for those people who stood up to the enemy. Thank you for those people who walked, who took up their cross and walked after the Christ. Thank you for those people who showed that he lives and he is and he was and is to come. Thank you for those people who preached this word, who said that God is and that God is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. That God is the crown of life. That God is the crown of righteousness. That walking in his way will sustain you. That walking in his truth will build you up. That his word is, is life, everlasting life. And that there is no evil in him. There is no sin in him. That he is purely holy. That he is purely righteous. And he was a reward of those that did you seek it. Lord, thank you for those heroes and heroes of faith. Thank you for those people that walked before. And those two people that walk still now. For they're hoping to ease the burden of the trouble of this world. Thank you for the Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, and Lord, may your grace continually reign, and may you bring up more and more heroes who will carry the cross, and who will tell us how to count it all joy, and how to walk in faith, and not be afraid of the darkness, not be afraid of, of sin, not to be afraid of wickedness, but that we are overcomers by grace. Amen.